Hello everyone at Ninth ICAT. Uh, my name is Rada Kadouda and uh, I am the Barefoot College representative in Sudan. And I'm going to tell you about a project, uh, the Solar Mamas project, uh, that uh, actually uh, started at one of the ICAT conferences. So I met Bankar Roy, uh, the founder of the Barefoot College in India. Uh, and uh, I was introduced to him by my good friend, uh, Prof. Uh, John Tarakan, and this was in Kigali at the third in ICAT uh, in 2008. Uh, the college itself is uh, based in uh, Tilonia, Rajasthan, uh, in India, and uh, was established in uh, 1986. Um, the way it's managed is managed by uh, the poor and it is run for the poor um, and um, the, 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 the belief is that um, it is based on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the belief that formal education is not a condition uh, to become an engineer so the focus is on non-literate and semi-literate uh, uh, women and uh, grandmothers most that who never really left their village when he was describing, I was fascinated by how uh, the solar mamas went for training in India, came back and solar electrified uh, their villages. So I asked him to please come to Sudan. And he did. And we uh, worked on uh, doing selection of, and there are uh, various criteria. Basically, the village, the village should be very far from the national grid. There should be acceptance from the village uh, for the project and for sending uh, women. Um, and uh, we selected the Nuba Mountains, which at that time was in the middle of Sudan. Um, a, a very uh, a beautiful place, but uh, there aren't uh, any of the services, uh, human rights services, basically, of energy and and and, uh, and public services and infrastructure selected women by the by their communities those were our very first sudanese barefoot solar mamas and they went to training in march um, uh, 2009 and came back in september so it was a six months uh, 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 training in india so, uh, here they settled into the the domes and uh, the training started uh, whereby they were uh, uh, trained in, ha in maintaining and in, in, in installation of uh, solar uh, equipment. Uh, and they also really w w w got the chance to uh, uh, learn other skills like how to make uh, eco-friendly uh, products like paper bags and, and, and toys for children. And they met uh, grandmothers from all over uh, the world coming to that uh, training. So not only were they learning those technical skills, but they were also exposed to other cultures, which enhances uh, the ability. I was actually very fascinated by the fact that none of these women probably speak the language of the other, but they managed to communicate and bond. Uh, in the last days, uh, they were taken by the college for uh, one of the wonders of the world, and uh, they became wonders themselves to their communities, uh, who were waiting anxiously at the airport. I remember the day they were arriving, uh, many of uh, from the two communities came to the airport to, to welcome them back. Then there was a wait for the solar equipment itself to arrive, and uh, they engaged in all kinds of, 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 uh, of activities, participating in exhibitions, uh, until the equipment arrived, arrived in all, uh, by different types of transportation, cars, cars, a boat, and they arrived in Miri, they started the work uh, to uh, uh, assemble, assemble uh, the equipment, and uh, here Khadija and Muna was in. This is Asia. So uh, the community was uh, were very curious, and we were learning from them, and uh, that that is another aspect uh, of, of of this project. And this was the moment when the electricity. <laughs> And um, 
really it's an empowering experience for the women uh, it's life changing for them and for me also as a privileged uh, uh, educated uh, university educated uh, person I, I uh, learned a lot uh, from uh, this uh, project uh, our next village in this solar electrification was the second village. Uh, there were four women, each, uh, two solar mamas from, from each village. So we've done Mary and we were moving to Alderota, Beldia. Um, but uh, this is uh, when conflict and displacement. Uh, so we halt, the whole project halted, the communities were displaced, the local organizations were dismantled. Uh, and that was in June 2011. And the project stopped for a while, but then we restarted again uh, uh, in a village uh, north from there uh, 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 called Angarco, and this is Gisma and Bahita. They went through the same process, uh, arriving in India, um, and uh, uh, got it through the training uh, from September 2017 to March 2018. And here they are in the Taj Mahal trip, uh, and then in 2020 uh, uh, we sent uh, uh, six more uh, from three villages. Uh, so at, from the 2017 projects, we uh, focused on on training rather on, than on the solar electrification, and uh, uh, because the people are, are waiting for peace to return to these uh, to their villages so basically uh, we are hopeful now because there are some uh, peace agreements happening and perhaps we will restart and go and, and, and continue with the solar electrification uh, part of the project but there is a big dream uh, behind this project um, a dream that um, the, the, the valuable projects could start in the, at these conferences just like this one uh, uh, project uh, and it's a long uh, walk to, to freedom so uh, one of the women was saying you know she she would like to see a, a future where Sudanese uh, women are no longer a water tub or a tractor or a mill uh, and that's the dream uh, a futuristic uh, look that uh, uh, the solar mamas will uh, finish the solar electrification of their villages and they will go on to train other women in, uh, uh, in solar electrification whereby uh, they become a big uh, movement. And uh, we'll, this will start by establishing the uh, Sudan Barefoot uh, College Vocational Training Center which is currently uh, in, uh, uh, in the process of fundraising for it and um, I want to recall here what Bunker, uh, uh, a quote from uh, the Mahatma Gandhi that Bunker keeps saying that I have seen also through this project that they first, they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you and then you win. So that's where we are uh, going to win. but. Uh, this is not possible without a lot of support these kinds of uh, projects. Uh, so the success of the project until now depends on uh, really the, the thanks goes to, to many people and the future uh, of this project will also uh, depend on uh, uh, the support, the continued support of the community. Uh, thank you very much.